Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And we are here to do some tournaments. That was the last thing that I got requested from one of my viewers. Is there any way you could do a tournament? Well, I have done tournaments in the past, and I think I'm going to continue doing them, even though they tend to get a little bit lengthy. And the only thing is about the tournaments is usually you can learn a lot, it's really challenging and you can make quite a bit of cash if you happen to win. The first of these missions is the basic training. Now this one can get a little bit tougher than it appears. Uh, the first mission's not so bad. You basically go to Roach Lake. Now some of these lakes I haven't been back for a very long time because there's not really a whole lot of big, big fish here. But it's a good place to get started and if you just start out in the game it's a good with equipment that you're going to start off with. These are some good lakes to start with as well. But the first of it, you need to get the best total weight. That's a 30 minute competition. That's what we're gonna be taking part in, in today. The second one is gonna be at Forest Lake. And that's for the total amount. And I will tell you honestly, for me, that is a tough one because getting the total amount, it does not matter the size of the fish, it's how many fish you catch. So you're gonna need all new equipment. And I tell you, if you're gonna catch more fish, you're probably gonna need lighter equipment and go for the smaller fish. And then Moose Lake, that's the biggest fish. And that's where you're gonna to wanna to try to get the biggest, you know, like the heavy gear that you can carry. Uh, if you're just starting out, you may have to deal with what you've got. Um, you may have a smaller drill, you may have a smaller rod. I think the medium rod is what you start off with. So, and that one's 45 minutes. That's the only one that's 45 minutes. So that gives you a little bit of time to possibly get that biggest fish. Now, if you complete all three of these, it doesn't mean you have to win every single one of them. You just have to come in first place with all three of them combined. But you can get money no matter what. Even if you got 10th place, you can still get a little bit, but 4,000 is what first place gets. And this is really good training for you to try these different things. Now, let me go ahead and get started here with basic training. Now, I will say I'm using the gear that, for the most part, you start off with. The only thing I have changed is my rod. I've got a little bit fancier medium rod, but it works as fast as the one you're given when you first start this game. These are the amount of NPCs you're going to be competing against, which isn't too bad. Uh, some of these competitions, you can have 20 or more, from what I understand. Now, on this one, we're going for total weight. We're going to Roach Lake, which if you look at the fish species here, they're kind of standard for European fish species. Whitefish, Xander, Tench, Perch, Roach. I would say if you want total weight, I would try to get pike as much as you can. Uh, brown trout, the Xander tends to carry some weight, whitefish. Now, I'm also using, like I said, the earlier gear, so that should help a little bit too, so that you, you guys can see just how you're gonna start off here. Now, we're gonna go ahead and get this going. Now, the last one I did was only 15 minutes, so we're gonna head on off to the lake. Now, let me get a depth here, because I am going after pike to start off with. Now I'm using the drill you start off with. This is just a medium drill. You can't get really big fish with this, but this lake really doesn't have them. Now this particular lure is called the Green Goblin. It's one of the lures you can get early on. The Blue Beast is the one you start off with. So we might switch off and use that one. And as far as the lure, we're using grayscale. The reason I decided to use that is because it's good for pike. But we've also got trout jam that's good to use. That's early one you can get early. And brown does and golden balls, all of those are good. But I'm going to use grayscale. And as far as hooks, we're just going to go... Let's see, Stan we're just gonna go with what you start off with, guys, the standard. 
I'm not going to make it any easier for me at this point, so we have us a little bit more fair. Like I said, this is a medium rod. Now, if you're fishing for the pike, this up and down movement seems to work really well. Let me go ahead and put some of the attractant in there. Now, this is in the evening in, I believe it was the fall. Okay, I am not getting any bites here, guys. I got one little bite. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. To the middle of this. A lot of times when you go in between these two structures like this, it tends to be a place where the fish like to hang out. There we go. There's a brook trout. Yeah, this keeps freezing up quite quickly. I'm surprised I haven't gotten a pike, but I tell you, I might change this over to the blue beast. There we go. That's what we're after. We want to get white fish because they are I mean, there's a lot of them in here, and plus, they tend to get kind of large at times. Yeah, I think I am going to go ahead and change this over to the Blue Beast. I've caught some pretty good size pike with the blue beast even though it's supposedly not specifically for that but it's also good for the white fish since we're seeing them I might as well use it Okay, we got a little something there. There's a perch. There we go. This one has a little bit more oomph to him. An asp. One pound. I will tell you, sometimes if you just do the side to side, it seems like you get the panfish a little better. And since this is a European lake, you probably stand a better chance of getting the perch, the bream, things like that. Seems like the white fish and the pike go for the up and down movement. Or you can even combine the two. There we go. And that worked right off the bat.
Now we're getting some asp here, which is really good. They can get so, you know somewhat significant in size. I will tell you, this particular lake, they don't really get that big. So we're not going to be pulling any monsters out of here, but so probably getting as many as possible is going to be our best strategy. Starting to think this hole's fished out, guys. Yeah, I think I'm gonna come over here, give another spot a try. I tell you, right here might be a really good area. The mouth of this tributary. deep. Okay, we're going to try the attractant. We're going to try deep. I don't think I've caught anything bigger than maybe five pounds out of this entire lake, so... I don't see this being a problem as far as the equipment goes. There we go, we got something this time. Took a little longer than I'd hoped. A little perch. Since it's at the start of a tributary, I might take it up closer to the surface and try to fish for trout. That seems to hold very true in these waters. But it doesn't seem like the fish are going deep this time. I mean, these techniques usually the pike go for it every time, but... Okay, we got a bite that time. There we go, we got Xander. Let's try it near the surface. See if that changes anything. Okay, finally. There we go, we got a white fish. Okay, let's go a little deeper. Whitefish tend to go a little deeper than that. Gosh, this thing is freezing up fast. I don't know what the deal is with that. Yeah, I need to get a little bit more 
numbers going here, guys. Okay, that's real small. Little tiny perch. Yeah, I think we're going to move, guys. This is not going as well as I'd hoped. Take a look at the map here. I am... I think I'm going to go right over here where this little inlet is. I need to go this way. Right here. Tells me they're up closer to shore. Might be also true for the pike. Nope, it looked like it was a bite. Yeah, I think I am going to change lures again. Let's go back to, let's see, the green goblins, pike, and whitefish. Let's grab that again. I think I might also see if I can upscale this hook. We don't want that one. Is it the meteor? Yes. Let's try the meteor. If you're gonna buy a hook, that's probably the first one you wanna buy. The pike really seemed to love the meteor hook. Go. Ah, brown trout. Now we're talking. Perch. There we go. White fish. Yeah, if you notice, none of these fish are very big. I think the biggest was a little over a pound. No, it's not much, but every little bit helps. We're not going for the biggest fish, so if we were, we'd be in trouble. <laughs> if we just keep catching fish, it's the main point at this point. Getting bigger fish would help. There we go.
Get a few more of those guys. We might be talking here. There's quite a few brown trout over here. Now before this ends, there is one more place I want to try. I'm surprised no one else is over there, to be honest. Maybe they have been, and I just haven't seen it. There's a teeny little perch. And that's over here to the north at that headwaters there. I think I'm going to head over there. It looks like he's going over there for some reason. Right here, if I can get, get this right. Nope, I need to go to a little bit more this way. Yep, yeah, right there. As water flows in from the stream, it brings food that certain species of fish, like pike, they can wait for, especially predators. They just sit there and wait, and when the food comes down, they grab it. Well, I'm hoping that they might be down here. There we go. Yep, I'm never wrong. There's your pike. Now, I'll probably only get one. I've never gotten more than one pike in a hole. But so far, it's the biggest fish I've gotten. But we might be able to get some white fish here, too. Yep, there they are. Let's bring it off the bottom just a little bit. Just in case there is another predator down there, we want to get it just off the bottom or more towards the middle, the whitefish will still be there. There's a brook trout. Cool. We're still in this, guys. I don't know what we've gotten weight-wise, but we've gotten quite a few fish. I'd love to pull one big one out of there, though. Just not a monster, just a little bit bigger than the average. We got about two minutes. not really enough time to do much other than go back. I would wait until there's a minute left. There's not far to go, so 
might get lucky enough to get another trout or white fish or something. I think I found the reason why I don't go come back to this lake very much. <laughs> it's just not as productive as some of the others, which is part of the challenge for this. Alright, I have no idea how well I did. I, I feel like I did pretty good considering this lake, but... They could have done better. It's hard to say. Well. Yeah. All right. I guess it's now or never. We shall see how good or bad we did. Even if we didn't win doesn't mean we're out of this. Nope, we came in first place. 11.28 pounds. See, nobody really did any better, honestly. The biggest fish was caught by Keiha Kokinen. See, that's only 2.35 Xander. There's nothing very big in this lake. That's like I said, that's one of the reasons why I'm not real fond of this lake. Just isn't that many big fish. I caught 20 fish total, so if we were going for numbers, I wouldn't have been doing too good. We had three people that were ahead of me there. But the next mission that we take where it's going to be total number, that is going to be a completely different strategy that we take part there. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode of Ice Lakes. So until then, guys... As I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.